Hey guys, hope you're all doing really well. Today I just thought we'd take a look at what's in store for us uh, in 2018 with regards to the Papo dinosaurs. And uh, I'd like to link over to an article on everything dinosaur. Um, it goes into much more detail than I'm going to be able to in this video. And um, as everything dinosaur has been such a big support for this channel, uh, I want to make sure that I link over to their article first and foremost. Link is down below if you want to read this in written form. Um, but I was also made aware of this via Jurassic Sean on Twitter. So thank you to at Jurassic Sean uh, for making me aware. Uh, but we're going to kick off with this one. This is the 2018 Papo Iguanodon. Now, I'm a huge fan of the Iguanodon growing up. Um, it was one of those staple dinosaurs alongside the Tyrannosaurus rex and the Triceratops. And I was very aware of its thumb spike and uh, just the way it looked anatomically. And I think for me, this looks like a very nice representation of the Iguanodon that I've grown up with. As you can see, it's on all fours. It's not stood up against a tree as we used to see it quite a lot. Um, and the musculature on this one looks really clear. I think out of all the ones that are coming out in 2018, this looks to be probably the most appealing to me in terms of a sculptural form. Um, it looks like it's been done with so much love and attention um, in a way that Papo is only capable. Um, just look at some of the lovely creases around the leg there, the really lovely clear musculature, the way you can see the hips protruding through. Also on the head area, you can just see nice recesses in the skull where you'd expect it to be and nice creases in the neck. It just looks like it's going to be a lovely piece. So I'm really looking forward to reviewing this one and we will be featuring it on the channel next year in 2018 when this one is released. So next up we have the 2018 Papo Therizinosaurus and uh, gosh I mean how much more striking could you get in terms of a Therizinosaurus figure compared to all the other dinosaur lines. I mean, Papo really do bring realism to the fore, and this thing looks, you know, much more ugly and bloated and realistic than any of the other dinosaur lines, and that's really exciting to me. A lot of people are saying they don't like the bulbous stomach and the way this thing looks, like it's not an appealing look. But I love this. I love the level of realism going on here. And um, to me, it looks like the kind of creature that you'd get in a film universe if you were to bring something to life realistically. And I just love that attention to detail. I just love the veining that's visible around the belly area. It just looks really bloated and huge. I love the outstretched claws on the hands and the way that they're really splayed, and really bird-like. Um, I like the little bit of feathering going on in the tail. I think maybe with a Therizinosaurus I would expect a bit more feathers. Um, but in terms of the sculptural form, I think this looks really, really cool. I'm just interested to see as well how much this one weighs. Like, I'm assuming it's going to be fairly big, maybe like the Baryonyx that we've had. And um, I just can imagine it being like this huge paperweight because it's just such a big ball if you look at it. Um, so yeah, I'll be interested to take a closer look at this one when it's finally released. And as you can see, it does have an articulated jaw. Um, and I believe the uh, Iguanodon did as well. Um, I can't see a massively visible seam line, but I suppose it's there. Yeah, I think it is there. There is like a, a little bit of flesh between the upper and lower beak area. So yeah, it would be interesting to see how this one turns out. Very cool. I, I, I like the look of this. And I'm just noticing the feathers on the arms as well. They're quite short, the feathers. Um, but really, really cool. I'm a big fan of Therizinosaurus. And um, it's one of those specimens that's kind of known by um, just a very small number of samples from the fossil record. I think its claws were the first thing that were found and they were massive. And uh, yeah, it's just a really cool dinosaur. I love the Therizinosaurus. I remember with the Baryonyx how we were all a little bit disappointed with the paint job that we got initially from Papo. And um, I'm hoping that with the Therizinosaurus we get a paint job that's true to this image because this actually looks really cool. 
So next up we are getting uh, an early man from Papo. Um, I'm not too interested in this one, but I might review it if you guys would like to see this one reviewed on the channel. I believe this is a repaint of an earlier figure that they've done. Um, to me, this doesn't look that realistic, but maybe it will be in hand. You can never tell with Papo. They do put a lot of love and attention into their figures. So, yeah. Let me know if you guys would like to see this one reviewed on the channel. Uh, but I'm not too fussed about this one. Lastly, there's this. It's the 2018 Papo Amargosaurus. Now, I don't know how early this prototype is and whether this paint job is final. I think it leaves a lot to be desired uh, from this image. Um, there's certainly been some nicer Amargosauruses made by other dinosaur lines. And uh, I think this would be a really nice figure, a really nice sauropod if, the, if they got it right. So I really hope that this image isn't true to what we're getting next year. Um, it feels a bit like a Schleich figure or a Safari Limited figure, and that's not to say that uh, those are any less of a higher quality. It's just that they're different in terms of their style. And this doesn't feel like Papo's style in terms of the level of detail, especially when I think of the Apatosaurus figure that I'm a massive fan of, and I love the sculpt on that one. It's obviously heavily inspired by the Sideshow Limited uh, Dinosauria line, and it would be nice to have, you know, another sauropod that has that level of detail and care taken with it. So I hope that in hand, this Amargosaurus looks much better than we're seeing here. Because for me, alarm bells start ringing uh, when I see this particular figure. The other thing I might not know is how big it is. It might be really small, in which case that might explain the kind of detail that we're getting. But then Papo do really nice, small, detailed figures. So we'll just have to wait and see. At the moment, we've got those four. Um, and there's one more thing to show you, and it's this. So I don't know how much you guys are interested in this, um, but Papo are bringing out a playset for their dinosaur figures called Land of the Dinosaurs. It looks like it consists mainly of uh, cardboard pieces that all slot together. I think this is great for the younger ones, um, but I think in a way the kind of the realism of the figures maybe demands a more realistic playset. And Papo could really branch out there, if I'm honest. I would really love some high-quality diorama pieces to go with the Papo figures, but it's obvious that that's not their goal at the moment. And even if you look at the packaging, you know, the way that they're trying to target their figures is still for a, you know, a younger audience. But I think there are a lot of older collectors out there who really appreciate the detail of the Papo figures. So I think, you know... As nice as this is for children, it would be really nice to get some, you know, nice foliage and nice terrain and really nicely sculpted. Collect A are very good at doing bases and detailed pieces that are connected to the dinosaurs. So it'd be nice for kind of Papo to enter that arena as well. OK, guys, like I said, head on over to Everything Dinosaur and check out the written article for more information. Um, he's also got information on when these are going to be released. So go and check that out. But in the meantime, rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.